Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed. Learn how at www.ready.gov. Brought to you by the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Ad Council. Welcome, everybody. And this is Getting Loose with Bruce. This is my duet show. And we're going to start off with Bruce and John Fogarty. Give me that beat, Max. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest singers and rock songwriters of all time. I covered his music when I was 18 in the bars. We still cover this guy's songs on our stage today. He's the Hank Williams of our generation, the great, great John Fogarty. Yeah, that's the way to start a show out. You get that blood flowing. That. Yeah, thank you. Uh, anyway, that was uh, the recording from the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 25th anniversary show uh, from 09. Pretty much Bruce kind of hosted the whole thing, but uh, lots and lots of groups were on there, so they all kind of traded off. Uh, the next, the next uh, cut is called Chimes of Freedom. Now, this is from the Amnesty Tour, 1988. Uh, he went out on tour, he being Bruce, went out on tour with uh, not only the whole E Street Band, but Sting, Peter Gabriel, Tracy Chapman, and a young man called Yusuf Noir. Noir, I think I have it pronounced right. Is uh, He did a lot of uh, uh, backup singing. He's, he's all over Peter Gabriel's uh, So album. Uh, so this is 1988, and... Um, the only one I think that really doesn't have it down very well is Sting, and I think he's like the he's probably like the second or third uh, singer here. But uh, give it a listen; it's a great song. That's 
majestic pairs of boats Struck shadows in the sun Seeming to be the chimes of free flashing Flashing for the warriors The strength is enough to fight Tour. Like I said, Sting just didn't quite have it down for whatever reason, but we'll forgive him. He's a good guy. Uh, 
Bruce has a tendency, he really, before 1980 or so, did not really do too many collaborations with folks. And then all of a sudden, it seemed like he was everywhere. So um, uh, the, the neat thing is, though, that he's continuing to do it today, even with some of the newer groups. Um, a lot of the younger groups have now found him, I guess, and he's popping up on all sorts of uh, uh, other folks, you know, cuts, Amnesty, and I'm, I'm sorry, Amnesty, Gaslight Anthem, they're called, is one, and uh, uh, Dropkick Murphys, and like I said, some of these newer groups have uh, really latched on and uh, made some good music. Uh, the next one is Sweet Dreams Baby. This goes back to 1988, a... Uh, show that Roy Orbison put on with uh, all sorts of different musicians and uh, Bruce was kind of a featured musician on most of the show and this is his duet with Bruce and uh, again you can find this on Black and White Night on DVD or CD so again Sweet Dreams Baby Sweet dream. 
Sweet Dreams. That's a that is one excellent show. I highly, highly recommend it. If you can't find, it's always on PBS all the time. So look for it there, or um, like I said, dash out and get the DVD. It is highly worth it. I'm. I wasn't even uh, a smidgen of a Roy Orbison fan until I saw that. And every song on there is just fantastic, and you can see the influence that he passed down to others. And when I was making my list up today for the show, I put these two songs back to back. Didn't even have any reason why or whatever the case was i just put them the way they feel right and i noticed as i was driving down i glanced at the list and and sweet dreams uh you can tell when bruce is standing there playing next to his idol one of his childhood idols he's got this big grin on his face right and you can see that he's truly truly into playing with somebody that he grew up listening to and then the next song that i'm going to play is Thunder Road, and this is with Melissa Etheridge. Now, she has professed all over the place that she's a huge fan. And again, when you see the video, you can see it in her face, too, that she's standing here next to one of her idols, and uh, it just makes for a great song. This is from Melissa Etheridge Unplugged uh, from February of 95. So here we go. The screen door slams just waiting Like a vision she dances across the porch as the radio plays Roy Orbison singing for the lonely Yeah, that's me and I want you only Don't send me home again I just can't face myself alone well, don't you run back inside, darling, you know just what I'm here for So you're scared and thinking that maybe we ain't that young anymore We'll show a little faith as magic in the night Yeah, I'm beautiful, but hey, you're all right When I saw From your lovers, throw roses in the rain. Waste a summer, pray in vain. To save your eyes from the street. Well, I'm no hero, it's understood. All the redemption I got to offer, girl, is beneath this dirty hood. With a chance to make it real somehow. Tell me what else can we do now? Except roll out. The promised land Oh, 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 thunder Oh, oh thunder Oh, oh thunder It's right out there And I can hear the song I know this lady We can make it if we run Oh, 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 thunder Oh, sit tight Just let go In my car's out back If you're ready to take That long walk From your front porch To my front seat the door's open But the ride ain't free I know it won't Words that I spoke And I will be free I'll climb a silver throne And hell Thank you. 
fashion gown lies in rags at their feet In the lonely cool for dawn Hear their engines roaring on When you get to the porch they're gone It's a merry climbing Okay, that was Thunder Road with Melissa Etheridge from her Unplugged show back in 95. And again, the uh, the idol playing with the uh, the person that uh, idolized you? I guess, is that the way to... <laughs> the best way to put it? Anyway, so this is our duet show. Uh, I've got Wayne Boyker with me running my boards as usual. And he waves a good hello to everybody. Um, next song I want to do has got an interesting story behind it. And... Um, Back in 1981, Bruce is coming off the river of his star status, his rise to even more, doing a huge world tour, and um, all of a sudden everybody wants to be involved with him. And uh, he was working with Gary U.S. Bonds for a comeback album with him. And uh, at the same time, uh, Donna Summer's manager comes to Bruce's manager and says, "Can you write? Can he write her a song?" Well. <clears throat> kind of an unusual request for a disco singer, but she was breaking out of that. And uh, so he wrote Cover Me. Now, Cover Me ends up on Born in the USA, and that is, uh, he decided he was going to keep that for himself and instead wrote this song called Protection. Now, I have uh, heard his version, I've heard her version, but as I was scouring the internet looking for songs, I came across this. Now, they, it's supposedly it's a fan that put this together, but it's the two of them singing together. It is great. I'm going to keep it for my, <laughs> for my own collection. You would never know that they were not uh, mixed together like this. So this is Protection, Bruce and Donna Summer, 1982.
So that's Protection, a song written uh, for Donna Summer and uh, never uh, never released on any Bruce album as of yet. Uh, uh, like I said, her version's from um, about 1982, one of her releases back then, and actually uh, garnered quite an attention for her. So her trying to break out of that disco uh, the disco thing she was in for so long. Anyway, uh, I'm running very early on time here. We're going to play uh, the next one and then go to break. The uh, Vote for Change tour was in 2004, and a bunch of groups went out uh, together on the road, and uh, R.E.M. and um, Bruce and I think uh, Pearl Jam, a whole bunch of groups, and they all played each other's on each other's song, etc. Uh, this song is Man on the Moon with Bruce uh, trading off vocals and some searing guitar work. So we'll end uh, this half uh, half hour of the show with this. Yeah, put extra on the 530, put a like, smidge of extra if you want. That way we can stretch it out. Mark the hoopo and the game of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andy Kaufman and the rest of the match. Yeah, 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 yeah. Monopoly twin. Checkers and chess Yeah, 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 yeah Mr. Fred Blassie in a breakfast mess Let's play Twister, let's play Rest Yeah, 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 yeah I'll see you in heaven if you make the best So Andy, did you hear about this one? Tell me, are you locked in the porch? Hey Andy, are you goofing on Elvis? Hey baby, are you having fun? If you believe, they put a man on the moon. If you believe, there's nothing up his sleeve. Nothing is cool.
save hundreds of dollars a year. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Energy and the Ad Council. In 50 feet, turn left. Why are you driving so slowly? After a few drinks. And uh, this is my duets show tonight. Uh, so far, we've had uh, Bruce with John Fogarty, uh, the group from Amnesty International, which is Sting and Peter Gabriel, etc. Uh, Roy Orbison, Melissa Etheridge, Don, a summer of all folks. And like I said, you never would have expected that, right? And uh, But why not? And uh, last one was REM. The next one, um, how he got involved with these with uh, them, I, I'm not really sure, but uh, this is uh, the Wallflowers, and this is uh, Bob Dylan's son. So kind of odd coming up as being uh, the next, you know, Bruce was called the next Bob Dylan, and here you are playing with his son now. It was, uh, was kind of strange, but they made a great version of this. It was live for the MTV um, 1997 Video Music Awards, and um, this is a shout out to my cousin out in Jersey, Barbara. I hope you're listening. And uh, this is one headlight.
All right, that was uh, the one headlight version of uh, from MTV Music Awards '97 with Wallflower, Wallflowers and uh, guest Bruce. So um, anyway, I uh, heard that there's possibilities of Mr. Springsteen coming back to the states again. He just landed in uh, Oslo this very afternoon. I was looking at the Facebook page, and they start their little uh, second half of touring over there in Europe, and uh, there's been some. Uh, uh, rumors, rumors are always rumors until you have the official, but very possible that uh, you might see another leg come through here this summertime, which would be nice. Uh, the last uh, show was in town here at Wrigley, which was a fantastic show. Um, speaking of East Street Band, the next cut is a duet that Bruce Dill did with uh, Nils Lofgren. Now, Nils joined the band back in 1985 when Little Steven dropped out. And um, he was always a big uh, Springsteen fan, and it was just a natural fit for those two. They both admired each other's work. and uh, so. But Nils has worked with uh, Neil Young, and on his own, he's got several solo albums out, and this was one he put out in the early 90s. And I never heard of this song until, again, trolling around out there looking for, for duets, and I came up with this one called Valentine, and I'll send this one out to the wife. Yeah. 
That was Valentine, uh, a little duet between Nils Lofgren and Bruce, probably from about the early 90s from what I could figure out. And at that time, Bruce was E Street-less, so he kind of just lended his voice to that. Um, like I said, I, I thought I had plenty of on it. I even, I even thought I might have two days' worth once I started really looking around. I'll, I might have to do another show of these. Um, but I didn't bring a whole lot, I guess, enough with me tonight. But what we're going to do, I'm going to play this song next that we played on the very first show. Um, so that's nine weeks ago. That's good enough, right, Wayne? Yeah, so here's a tie into the Beatle, uh, Wayne's Beatle Hour, since he's so kind to help me out here every week. And this was uh, Paul and Bruce from Hyde Park last year doing I Saw Her Standing There. Paul McCartney gonna sit in with us. We don't wanna make no big deal out of it, but uh, I've been waiting about 50 years. <laughs> One, two, three, four! Well, she would have done seventeen. That was Bruce and Paul from uh, Hyde Park last year, the infamous uh, Pull the Plug show. Uh, they played I Saw Her Standing There and then went right into Twist and Shout that I guess seemed to last forever and long enough for the uh, the uh, stoddy Britons over there to pull the plug. But <laughs> Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm running a tad short. This one is, um, this will be my make-believe duet. How's that? If... Um, Elvis had lived. Bruce was a big Elvis fan. Uh, he made no qualms about that. He even climbed the gates of Graceland one night when he was uh, on tour, and they were going through Memphis, and goes to Graceland, jumps over the gate, 
got all the way to the door before somebody stopped him, and uh, he tried to explain his way, uh, but I'm on time in Newsweek, man, I'm on time in New- <laughs> That didn't seem to work, I guess, so uh, they escorted him from the grounds, but uh, anyway, he was a big Elvis fan, and he covered Viva Las Vegas uh, for Elvis tribute, so maybe if Elvis had had lived long enough, they could have duetted on this together, so uh, here's Viva Las Vegas. I don't know how Elvis would have done on that. It'll maybe a little too uh, too hot rocking for Elvis. I don't know, but uh, anyway, maybe they could have duetted. But that's my duet show for the week. Thanks for listening. Um, I'm going to do another one of those. I had a lot of fun doing it. There's a couple really nice programs out there on the computer that you can find. It'll uh, convert a lot of uh, YouTube videos into MP3. So that's how I got a lot of this, uh, a lot of this, uh, these versions tonight. So uh, anyway, thanks for listening. Uh, we will see you next week again. My thanks to Wayne for helping me out as usual. And uh, please go to the Facebook page WRLR Getting Loose with Bruce. You can find that. And every week is posted on there. I post. It, uh, within a day or so of the each show so if you miss some of it you can go back and listen or uh, maybe go back and listen to previous shows but uh, again you can uh, leave me some comments or whatever you uh, whatever you like have a good night folks you're listening to 98.3 FM, WRLR LP, Round Lake Heights, Illinois. In Washington today, the president's popularity continued its pace. The most recent poll taken by Blah Blah Magazine and Blah BC News shows Blah 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 Blah. Looking for local news you can use? With more on that, here's Blah Blah Blah. Blah 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 Blah. The Lake County Journal hits newsstands each Thursday, and it's filled with features, sports, and news stories that cover your community. Daily updates can also be found at lakecountyjournal.com, where readers can view photo galleries, 
post comments, and read blogs. The Lake County Journal. Your life connected. Best. Bringing everyone's strengths together is a not-for-profit networking coalition whose goal is to positively impact Round Lake area youth and families. BEST offers community empowerment grants designed as mini-grants for community groups, student groups, not-for-profit organizations, and or individuals. The website is www.rlabest.org. BEST meetings are held the second Thursday of each month starting at 8.30 a.m. at the Round Lake Beach Cultural and Civic Center. HACP Boxing Club is a proud sponsor of WRLR Radio. HACP Boxing is a community-based nonprofit organization focused on intervention, prevention, and in mentoring all youth. The club fosters self-discipline and achievement of positive goals. They are located in the Round Lake Sports Center on the second floor. For more information, the phone number is 708-228-3593. Their website is hacpboxing.wix.com backslash pictures. Ultra Printing in Grays Lake, Illinois is a proud sponsor of WRLR. Ultra Printing has been family owned and operated since 1985 and was founded by the late Edward Mahoney. Ultra Printing can help you with all your color printing needs, including company and wedding announcements, business cards, envelopes, business stationery, and brochures. Ultra Printing at 155 South Wick Street, Grays Lake. Open Monday through Friday to serve you. Ultra Printing General Manager Dominic Mahoney can be reached at 847-680-8880. Remember, when you need printing, you need ultra printing attention proud misfits and outsiders has commercial radio taken the passion out of your relationship do you find yourself waking in the middle of the night in a hoodie and the blowfish instigated panic attack are you having increasingly common frightening lady gaga induced flashbacks don't worry it's not too late subterranean is here for you the perfect antidote to common radio join mick and carl for three hours of the best in underground rock every thursday from 10 p.m to 1 a.m the greatest music you won't hear anywhere else is on Subterranean, right here on WRLR. Coming up on the ADHD Radio Network. Are we on? Did you know that frogs never drink? Why is that? Because it makes them jumpy, no. Bob. Breaking news. The Energizer Bunny's been arrested and charged with battery. For this and more comedy, listen to the Improv Comedy Show on WRLR 98.3 Radio, 7 to 8 p.m. on Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> it's 6 o'clock. You're listening to 98.3 FM, WRLR LP, Round Lake Heights, Illinois. 